Oh, hi, Dark Draga. Salutations. So, what is it you think you're doing? Oh, well, you know, games. Perhaps you forgot what we spoke about last time. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not making a video about it. I'm just playing. So you're being even less productive. You know, I have one of those things called a job. And sometimes, after I come home from said job, I like to relax a little. This is your idea of relaxing? Oh yeah, surprisingly so. Well, either way, it's gotta stop. Oh my god, why? You know what happens after going too long without releasing a video, right? Remember what game theory says? Yes, yes. If you go three weeks without releasing a video, I got it. The algorithm. So, what are you waiting for? For my sanity to grow back. And painkiller is the way to do that? And your idea is so much better to dive headfirst into something I don't want to do right now? I'm already aware you have footage recorded. Just edit it. It's gonna be a shitty video. It will do fine. It's gonna be boring. Okay, fine. You don't have to do it. Wait, what? Seriously? Fine. Just keep playing your game. Oh, sweet. Thanks. It's just gotta be this game. Click directly on the body. <laughs> this will do nicely. Watch the heart attack video again. Oh, hell no! I'll edit your goddamn video. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Hey smokers, Drago on here. Today we're going to be installing Windows 98 on a RAM disk. Now, I probably would have done a video like this long ago, but for some reason I didn't. Um, my whole SSD craze um, seems to have been dwarfed by something a little bit more massive here. Um, this is my fastest SSD, the Samsung um, drive. Uh, there's a, you can see my installation video for a Doom SSD, essentially, video. You can look at that from when I installed this and did initial tests. This is the fastest one that I have in my system. It's attached to a SATA 3 um, port. And so this is just the fastest speeds I've been able to get on my system. Even though I have a RAID SSD, I did fuck that up and it doesn't work at full speed. So, oh well. Um, but this, this is my RAM. Now I only have like 10600 RAM from like 2011, 2012 era. So it's not great and it hasn't been overclocked or anything. So um, it is what it is. But it's considerably faster, as you can see, than the SSD. So even if I was to do this off an SSD, I'm not going to get anywhere near the speeds. So where is our bottleneck going to come from? Is it going to come from the CPU, or is it going to come from disk access time? If we have everything in, in RAM, we're not going to have any problems with access time. So if you look up here, um, we have the Windows 98 source ISO and the virtual hard disk stuff all on the RAM disk. So there's nothing else that needs to get pulled from anywhere else. These are the settings up here for the RAM disk itself. I have a setting turned on that disables the RAM disk from using the page file, which would sort of defeat the purpose of this. So um, it's been made. Everything's in there. It's taken up like 600 some odd megs of space right now. So let's go ahead and um, launch this. And we want to boot from CD-ROM. I'll we'll start the setup. Okay. So. What we're going to do now is uh, essentially just configure the allocated space. And let's see how fast this goes. Uh, just restarted. Okay. Oh, so more stuff has been dumped into the folder. There's the drive format. <coughs> that should be fast as hell. So now we're already into the setup which was pretty fast to begin with. Let's see if the RAM usage goes up at all while I'm installing. It's already copied some setup files, so we'll see what happens if anything happens here. So we'll go uh, continue here. Yeah, this should be pretty damn snazzy here. It feels faster, it definitely feels faster. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a timer. I'm going to do the full, we're going to do the full custom. And we don't, we don't need web TV for Windows. It's not going to work anyway. I don't really care about the computer name. I don't really care about the 
Okay, so here comes the copying files part. I'm going to start a timer and we'll see where we're at. Oh, shit. Now, this is the part that usually takes, according to it, 25 minutes. We're seeing CD and hard disk usage up here. So file copy progress, about 10% CPU seems to be pretty normal, 12, 13, we're still under a minute, totally flatlined on the amount of RAM used. I think it's all been uh, <coughs> allocated, so I don't think it's going to get any bigger, but we'll still look at it. Two minute mark, three minute mark, and it still says we have 21 minutes left. <laughs> Although that's never accurate. Restart now. That was 38, 3 minutes and 38 seconds. I'm going to keep it going because we need to finish it entirely. We need to get to desktop. How long is it going to take to get to desktop? Uh, shit, shit, shit. I'm going to pause the timer here because I don't have the product key ready to go. Okay, I'm resuming. Okay, I've resumed the timer for about four minutes. Hardware detection, five minutes, 20 seconds, six minutes. Shit, 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 shit. Seven minutes. Oh, fuck. Oh my God. It's copying things. It's going, we're going RAM to RAM. This is RAM to RAM. We're not even touching the drive. No, no drive, nothing. You can look at all the disk activity on the side um, right up here. There's nothing going on. This is all in the RAM. <laughs> estimated time remaining, more like estimated time elapsed so far. We start. Ten minutes has elapsed. I don't even know what my username is. <coughs> oh yeah, this is the part that's not going to work. I think I could pretty much call it and say it was about ten minutes because this part just will go on endlessly. Trying to find hardware and bullshit. There it is. I'm going to time that. 10.42. A little under 11. I was like, shit. Okay, so this is it. And I can install the VMware tools and all that so that it works. But what we want to see is how fast the reboot is going to be. Restart. And when I see the VMware logo, I'll do it. Two seconds. Four seconds. Five seconds. Most Windows PCs have booted up by now. Your grandma's PC is now booted up by now. 12 seconds, 14 seconds, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. My Mac Pro is booted up by now. How the fuck was this taking so long? 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay, I'll count that. We're done. 36 seconds. That's, I don't know what it is and why I get such terrible times, boot times. I mean, some weirdos out there have computers that start up, they claim to say they start up in four seconds. I'm, I'm not seeing it. I don't know how that's happening. But what the fuck? This is i7 with a RAM disk. What do you... I don't know how to go any faster. Well, the real test to see the performance difference between the boot up this way, which was 36 seconds, or what if we copied the virtual machine somewhere else, like, say, an SSD, and see how, it, how fast it is then? So let's shut this down. And we got rid of a bunch of the temporary files and shit. So I'm going to move these over somewhere else. Okay, so I've copied um, files. This is the RAM disk here. This is my fastest SSD, which is, you know, these speeds here. So I'll put the speeds... And this is my slowest mechanical hard drive that I've connected that I don't really have anything on that I, I was using for some <coughs> weird virtual uh, memory testing. And as you can see, it is uh, abysmal next to these. So this should be a really slow startup. Um, as you can see, the disk 5 here is going 100% because it's trying to do um, this uh, speed test here. But we're going we're gonna to stop that. Assuming it stops and it went down to 0%, so it stopped. 
So I think I can just click on this, and it'll launch it without doing any weird shit. So I was retarded, and I uh, tried to open this and not this, because I thought that this was just an unopenable file. Let's see if I can just open this. This is... There we go. Uh, I copied it, is what I'm going to say. Okay, so this is this one running over here. And we started it. I was a little late on the uh, pressing the timer button, but we'll shave off a couple seconds. So this is the best SSD booting here. It's pretty much exactly the same time. Like, almost exactly. Probably five seconds or so shorter, just because I clicked it at the wrong time. Uh, or it's actually taking the file from somewhere else. So, but why don't we, I, fuck. Let's try it one more time. Okay, so I got the virtual machine ready. We now have it opened from the fastest SSD, not the RAM disk anymore. And we're gonna hit uh, restart. And when I see VMware, I'm gonna start it. Okay. Now, right now, I'm seeing a little bit of disk activity. Okay, it's about exactly the same. And I did confirm in Resource Monitor that it is taking, reading the VMDK file from the... Oh, the, the fast SSD. Man, I lose track of this shit fast. So, um, yeah, so pretty much exactly the same speed as the RAM disk installation. So, same boot up time. So now let's uh, close this out. Power off, I don't give a shit. And then let's launch this one over here. All right, so this is from the slowest hard drive. I'm going to start it when I see VMware. And again, I am confirming that it is using a VMDK file for starting up from the other drive now. It is from the slowest hard drive. It is definitely booting from there. You can't really see a lot of stuff going on here. 25 seconds we're currently at. And the time is going to be exactly the same. 35, 36. 36 is pretty much the average across all of them. So there's no fucking difference on any of them. Now, why is that? Well, um, <clears throat> one thing we can see um, I, that I did notice when it was using disk activity is that it was using, it was reading at about 500 megabytes a second. Now, if we look at this, this says its read speed on this drive, sequential, 61. This would be the fastest. One of these should be the fastest. Um, let's see if I can just do a sequential test down here. And this is just reading. That shouldn't actually be possible. Uh, let me look a little closer here. Oh, it was bytes a second. Sorry, it was 500 kilobytes a second. So that's very possible. That was what it was maxing out at. Is that it does Windows 98 load any faster than um, 500 kilobytes a second i don't think so because right now the crystal disk test is going way faster 65 megs a second right at roughly about you know what this would be right here so that's that makes sense but when we were booting windows 98 it was 500 kilobytes a second let's see if i can i can set that up in a sub window okay so right now crystal disk is doing its tests or some shit i don't know um, this might have just been what I was doing previously. So basically, if you look at the top, these are um, the read speeds. I, I'll, I could probably give you the write speeds, too. Process name, write speed. So let's start from the beginning. Let's start to shut this back down. Let's do it all over again. Fuck, that's so so. All right, shut it down. I'm going to close all the crystal disks. 
because it's fucking with me. And it will keep the last few items up in there. Whatever the last thing that used the most stuff. So we're going to start up from our RAM disk again. And for some reason we have Dropbox doing shit that... This is uh, the other one, so this isn't even updating properly. Or it's not coming up because it doesn't consider the RAM disk a disk, which is entirely possible. Yeah, I think that's what happened. So it started up, so fuck this. Let's start up the uh, SSD one now. And now we can see that it's there's one megabyte a second. One right here. One megabyte a second. Now we can actually see it, because it doesn't like reading from RAM disks, apparently. So now it's 700. So it maxed out at one. Just one megabyte. Again, this is in bytes a second. So that's, let's see, 500 kilobytes a second. Doing a little bit of writing, but not too much. And then there, it's it. We're done. That's it. Okay. So, again, we'll shut this down. Okay, now let's launch this one. And this is the shitty drive. Now we're starting from the shitty drives now. And as you can see, the W here is on a totally different drive starting up. Maxing out at one megabyte a second. So it doesn't matter if you're running Windows 98 on an i7. It doesn't matter if you're running it on God knows what. Either something with Windows 98 keeps it from starting up any faster than like 30 seconds. Or it has to do with like the drive interfaces or I'm not quite sure what. But an interesting discovery nonetheless. Um, <clears throat> so here's, here's going to be the real test. Is if we try to, to shut down or if we try to start up some other virtual machine that I have on standby. Let's try my random Windows XP machine. So now we're getting three gigabytes per second. This is on a totally different drive. 13, 20, sorry, gigabytes, megabytes. <laughs> sorry, we got up to 20 megabytes a second on this. And then it's done. So it's nothing that's wrong with VMware, it's more like, God, I don't even know. But even still, even with Windows X fucking P, I could have put that on here and it would have been the same boot time because it wasn't using any more than 60 megabytes per second because this was 60 read. This is 60 read over here. So if this is 60 read on this side and this is maxing out at 20, then it's not going to be any faster than what you just saw. This is on an SSD. Another, uh, it's a one terabyte SSD, is another Samsung. But yeah, that's it. Well, now it's going really ham because it's restoring from. So this is the probably the maximum potential you ever see 200 megabytes a second. And that's just restoring a saved virtual machine. So that probably won't go any faster than that. You'd see some differences mm -hmm. here, but you wouldn't see differences... Uh, you, if you'd see differences going from here to here, but you wouldn't see differences going from, from SSD to RAM. So HD to RAM, in this case, probably be fine. But then but SSD to, to RAM, you would not see any improvement on any virtual machine. So yeah, virtual machines on a RAM disk... Um, it doesn't seem like it's all that efficient. It's not all that it's cracked up to be. You might as well just use it off of a drive because at least with VMware, it doesn't seem to go any faster than probably 20 megabytes per second. It doesn't seem to go any faster than that. 
Unless you have a saved virtual machine state, restoring from it is improved in speed. That can go boom. So let's try one last thing here. Let's launch from the RAM disk again. Okay, now let's suspend it. And now let's resume from suspended virtual machine. It happened so fucking fast, I didn't have time to update in time. Like, it couldn't even show it to me, it was so fast. Because it's only 256 megabytes. If it was 200 megabytes a second, it would have happened in one second. So I would have had to actually have given this more RAM, which is not possible on Windows 98. I could have only gone up to about a gig. So yeah, it didn't go fucking fast enough. God damn it. So yeah, it's a mess. Basically, uh, you don't get too much more performance. Like, I don't, I don't, even if you're a supercomputer, Windows 98 just doesn't want to use anything faster than that because back in those days, you didn't have drives that would uh, be that fast, so I guess. Um, so you'd, I'd have to have something even slower than this, like, 7200 RPM SATA drive. I'd have to have something slower than that. I'd have to have this thing like a floppy disk drive or something. Or something that had a specifically limited speed that would only go so fast. Like if I wanted to run it off the network, for example, which I suppose I could. And then I could throttle that speed. So maybe that'll be the other extreme. And we'll do that in another video where I try to install Windows 98 over the network. And we'll see how a bunch of bullshit happens there. Um, doing everything with shared files entirely and see how what kind of, what kind of speeds we can get or or how much slower it would end up being booting up off of a network drive again it's something that is doable I mean, it's not like it's impossible to do it but it's just slower it wouldn't tell us too much but basically if you're thinking about using a ram disk for old oss and trying to get them to start up fast you're probably just throwing speed at the problem and it's not that's not what's slowing it down. I think even if you had a faster processor, I don't think it would help too much either. I think this is just... Windows 98 cannot get any faster than this. And it's just annoying, because I, I just have ha always had this dream when I was a kid that, like, whoa, in the future, we're going to have computers that start up like, Woo! just if all I'm going to need is just better hardware. That's all I need is better hardware. Well, at least not with Windows 98. Apparently, some weirdos out there are able to get Windows 10 booted up in four seconds. Four seconds, six seconds. I've seen people comment on my videos that say they start up Windows in like four seconds, three seconds. I haven't looked up any videos of people actually doing that. I just sort of take the word for it. Is that possible? I don't know. I haven't been able to do that. No setup I've ever had have been able to do anything close to that. I think maybe at the best I ever have is like ten seconds. It's probably the best. Anyway, um, thanks everybody for watching. This is a pretty. This video is kind of a mess. So uh, hopefully uh, you can get some value out of it somehow. Just know that uh, what seems like a good idea, just RAM disk is going to be fast and awesome. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't change anything. It's not any faster than if you put on an SSD or mechanical drive for that matter. Um, if, especially if it's slower OSs, slower older OSs. It, I don't even think it matters where you put it. Because it's only going to use like 20 megabytes a second tops. Yeah, Windows XP. Windows 7, probably something like that. I could probably mess around with Windows 7 to make it do more things. So it would use more, but... Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. I will see you next time. All done. Time for... Cookie! And what do you think you're doing? I'm gonna make this. Uh-uh. You're gonna finish what you started. But I already finished the video. What more do you want me to do? I'm done. I did everything. You didn't figure out why Windows 98 wasn't hungry for more disk usage. Why was it only using 500 kilobytes a second, maxing out at a mag? Why was that? Maybe you want to double check something, huh? Okay, so I'm back. Need to go over a couple more things. There's something very important I didn't end up trying, which was to try and run the Windows 98 VMDK hard disk image through a different um, virtual machine setup itself, a totally different virtual machine file that 
configures, you know, what hardware is attached to it and whatnot. And I went over this a little bit. Um, allocate memory dynamically, I made it so that it would automatically allocate everything. Uh, so, <clears throat> this should speed up things for the RAM disk. Um, and what was the other thing I did? This makes sure that it doesn't use the physical memory. So we got the RAM disk here, we've got the fast SSD here, and our slow mechanical drive. <clears throat> They're all set up to just um, run and work from each location. Except now we're using a Windows 10 um, virtual machine with all of its hardware. So we're going to see how fast it goes. So I'm going to set the timer here and I'm going to uh, hit the button when it uh, starts and we're going to see just how fast it is. Okay, now I needed to do this several times because it was being a bastard, but okay. So it's kind of hard to manage the timer on my wrist and look at this at the same time. So um, if we look at, fuck off, all right. So if we look at Task Manager here, we can see that we do in fact have our X drive. We have our W drive, but we do not have our R drive because it doesn't consider that a real disk. So no problem there really. So we won't be able to see exactly what the disk activity is going to be for our RAM disk. Not a big deal. We just want to see how fast it's going to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this. This is from a RAM disk, and it is pointing towards the Windows 98 VMDK file next to it. Seven seconds and 71 centiseconds. So, a lot faster than 30 seconds, isn't it? Now, we don't know how how much it used in terms of speed, so let's just sort of suspend that and we'll mess with it later. Now we want to look at X, because this is our drive over here. We want to see a graph of what's going on a little bit better here, and we'll sort of use uh, Resmon as a secondary here. Let's go ahead and run off the fast SSD. It says it went up to 2.5, and it does concur. It definitely did reach a higher speed, 2.5 megabytes per second. That's as, as much as I could see right off the bat. I'm not even sure if that's accurate, but just an increase. Was it like what, a four-fold increase? I didn't actually stop the timer because so I was so fucking distracted by all the other stuff on the screen. But I can tell you, it's pretty much the same speed. And we'll suspend that as well. All right, now finally, from the crappy-ass mechanical drive. Now you can see it went up to four. And then it totally drops off at this point. And that was 10, almost 11 seconds. So it was slightly slower, just slightly slower than the RAM to start this up. Is it worth complaining about? Absolutely not. But one thing you should know is that if you set up Virtual Machine with older operating systems on VMware Player, it will throttle your speeds. I, I didn't know this. And because the difference is night and day. We're going from 34 seconds roughly to 7 seconds. And that's on a RAM disk. Now there's no pretty much no difference between RAM disk and uh, SSD. I wouldn't even waste your time with the damn thing. It just wastes your RAM. You're already putting your RAM into this shit. You're already putting RAM into uh, put, setting aside a whole virtual machine worth of shit. It's only 256 megs, so it doesn't really matter, but I mean, whatever. So let's see how long it takes to bring them back up from their suspended state, which should just pretty much be a joke at this point. Double click, start. Three seconds, 345. 45 seconds, 10 seconds. Disk W did is doing a bunch of stuff right now. I don't know why. Nothing's happening. This went from RAM disk, so I don't understand. Is that, am I still running into the macro? No. Okay, so let's suspend that again. And then let's see how fast this is. I was looking at the wrong disk, but it was it was just under three, 
under four seconds. I can't press that button fast enough. I need to have an on-screen timer. I'm sorry about that, but um, you get the idea. It's it's blindingly fast if it, if you do it that way, but you have to let it it work that way, right? So I mean, I don't know, man. Yeah, that that is that is the way to do it. I it, there. I don't think there's too much difference between RAM disk and SSD. I would say just use an SSD if you're gonna you know, a mechanical hard drive. You could see a, a difference in a couple seconds with Windows 98. If you have more shit in your Windows 98 rather than just this blank installation that doesn't have any drivers, then I could see you having some sort of issue or a, a longer boot time. But still, it's going to be blindingly fast. But you have to make a Windows 10 virtual machine and then install Windows 98 in it or install Windows 98 wherever you want and drop it into this. But when that happens, it's going to want to install a bunch of extra hardware that w the Windows 10 virtual machine presents to it that's used for compatibility or whatever, uh, for Windows 10 or something. And then So it has to ignore a huge swath of hardware, and then you'd have to install the virtual machine uh, additions. But that's difficult because uh, you'd have to do that back when you're on a Windows 98 virtual machine because otherwise it's going to try to install the Windows 10 virtual machine additions because it thinks it's Windows 10. But for whatever reason, it gives it more disk bandwidth. And it could be to save on disk bandwidth so that Windows 98 doesn't sit in the background and use up all your disk speed while you're trying to do something else. I guess. It's probably in some sort of documentation somewhere. But I think you get the idea. I hate this. Like, I hate trying to, like, oh, is it, is it four seconds? Is it three seconds? Is it two seconds? I don't care that much i mean that's ridiculous i know i'm all about ssds and speed and shit but that's really more to take ignoringly long boot times and sat and giving the satisfaction of turning that kicking ass and turning that into like 30 seconds or less that's what it's about this is just making me pull my hair out like i thought i was done with this video i needed to come back and and follow this up it's ridiculous i'm done i will see you guys next time have a good one